Hello everyone. Uh, for today's video, as you could probably tell from the title, uh, we're making poor financial decisions for the sake of the Magic the Gathering community. Um, today is the 14th, May 14th, so uh, my birthday is in two days, May 16th, as well as the fact that I just graduated college this, this week. Um, so I'm pretty excited um, about quite a few different things and so I wanted to kind of take this opportunity now that I've you know graduated college to make some more poor financial decisions uh, and with that being said we're just going to give away a bunch of stuff um, I've got a bunch of magic cards here that I've already pre-planned that uh, we are giving out uh, I'm gonna walk you through it in this video how we're gonna how we're gonna do it um, but it should be it should be a fun time I'll, uh, I'll come up behind the camera now and show you guys a couple of the cards that we are uh, planning on uh, giving away here, um, but we've got things like some beta cards here. These are beta uh, banalish heroes. We've got this is a foil lumbering falls, one of the man lands from Battle for Zendikar. Uh, this is a foil pre release promo Cinder Vines, Mines Dilation, uh, Kaldoran Outpost is here. We've got a foil Theros Beyond Death uh, Basic Island, some Land War Elves promos. Uh, what else do we have here? This is a foil mythic Karthus Tyrant of Jund from the Mystery Boosters. Uh, Judge Promo Pendlehaven is here. Um, Pack foil Black, ba Black Blade Reforged. There we go. Uh, Hellkite Tyrant here. Pathbreaker Ibex. Uh, promo Progenitus. Promo Ramanap Excavator. Talaria West and Exalted Angel from the uh, from the Vault series. Um, we've got some other random like foil rares here, foil biovox promo, Kenra the Return King. So there's a bunch of different uh, cards that we'll be giving away throughout the course of this video. It's going to be a very, very fun one uh, to put together. And at the end of this video, I'll of course be doing a giveaway uh, for, for this video as well to say thank you to those of you who have watched this video and make it to the end of this video um, as well. So it should be a fun time and uh, we'll go ahead and get into it right now. All right, so a couple of days ago here, May 12th, 5.45 p.m., I tweeted out for any of my followers or just anyone who sees this tweet, if you have an account with at Real Card Sphere, tweet me a link to your profile so that I can check your once list. It's for an important project I'm working on. Thank you. The important project, of course, being this video right here where we're just going to give away a bunch of stuff. Um, so for those of you that don't know, maybe this is your first time seeing a video from me or something like that, I am sponsored by Card Sphere. They're a fantastic service. Um, I highly, highly recommend them, and they are fantastic. So uh, what they do is you can buy, sell, trade, whatever you want to say, um, with other Magic the Gathering players. And the way that you do this is by uh, players putting cards on their once list saying, hey, I want this card. This is the price I'm willing to pay for the card. Um, send me the card if you have it and are willing to send it at this price. So uh, that's the way Card Sphere works. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking some of the once list that people have sent me, as well as some other random Card Sphere users that I've found just by uh, using the website, going on, looking at some of the cards that I have that I'm looking to get rid of and that other people want. And we're going to give them away for essentially pennies. Um, we're going to put them up for the lowest price possible, which is one cent on the website. So. Uh, we're going to see if some people are okay with, you know, picking up a Banalish Hero from Beta for one cent or uh, a Lumbering False Foil for one cent. Some of these other cards, you know, Land War Elf promos for a penny seems like a pretty good deal. Some Judge promos for a penny, that seems all right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. I basically went through a bunch of different profiles here. You can see a couple people did tweet theirs at me here. Uh, Nicholas Pacone tweeted theirs. Uh, someone Uno PK tweeted theirs, Ben Jones, uh, Ortiz, uh, Wesley, these people tweeted me, those people will be receiving some some fun stuff for tweeting at me, and then again, like I said, some other people who are just on the cards for website. Um, I wanted to do this as just kind of a way to give back to some people, because again, like I said, I am pretty excited about graduating college and my birthday and everything, so it seems like a good time to do this, as well as with the current state of the world, it could be a good time to just brighten up someone's day. Um, with just a you know a little a little present it's nothing too crazy i wish i had the funds to be able to just like hand out you know standard decks to people or whatever for free but new new college graduate not really in that financial position so uh we're just gonna have to give away a couple of like four dollar fifty cent up to like eight dollar ten dollar cards somewhere in there uh for most of these so um, I think the the lowest package I'm I'm sending out um, based off of what I've looked up already is like four dollars and fifty cents or something like that. With the most expensive being like eight dollars and fifty cents or something along those lines. So 
Um, hopefully people will enjoy them and they're getting them for essentially pennies so I'm sure they will so with that being said we'll go ahead on the card sphere now and I'll show you guys how we're gonna give these away all right so now we're here on card sphere this is user 1756 chalk uh, so I went and found that they had some of the cards on their once list that I had already that I'm willing to send out because part of this was that I had to like already have the cards already so that I could send them out to people um, but they did have two cards on here that I'm able to send them from their once list uh, so they had on here a Cage Sun from the Mystery Booster set, which they are willing to give me about $3 for. I'm going to see if they're willing to, 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 to go for a penny. Um, I feel like they might they might be willing to do so, um, as well as the Foil Alchemist Refuge on here. They're willing to give about $2 for it. We'll see if they're willing to, uh, to go for a penny. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and send them a message and uh, we'll, we'll see if they're willing to they're willing to accept this new offer All right, so I wrote up just a quick little message here for them I said hey quick question for you I saw that you have cage Sun and foil alchemist refuge from the mystery boosters on your wants list I was wondering if you'd be willing to negotiate the percentage. Let me know. Thanks uh, So we're gonna go ahead and send this off and we'll, we'll look forward to hearing back from chalk to see if maybe they're willing to put their percentages to I don't know, 1% sounds about right. So we'll go ahead and send off that message and we'll do something similar here with another user. All right, so next up on our list here is user yeah, def, uh user 25765. Uh, they want some of these open house promo land war elves. Uh, so again, I typed up a similar message for them. Hey, quick question for you. I saw that you have open house promo land war elves on your once list. I have two of them. I was wondering if you'd be willing to negotiate the percentage. Let me know, thanks. So again, we'll send them a similar one. All right, this one makes me pretty happy. So uh, we are messaging Kurt M now to send them a shiver, uh, shimmer mirror as well as a steel overseer. And while we were sending that, we did receive our first message back. So as soon as I send this, we'll be able to check the messages and see uh, what see if someone's willing to negotiate the the percentages. So uh, this will be sent here, and uh, we'll we'll check the we'll check the message. Yes, this is perfect. All right, so there's fun of that. 81 seems fair according to price history, but I would be willing to nudge it a little. 85, there's also two other people offering 100%, by the way. Um, we're going to have to see if they're willing to accept 1%. Yeah, seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Reasonable. Would you... Would you be... Willing to set your offer to 1%? All right, we'll, we'll await an answer. While we do that, I'll send out a couple more messages here. I'm not gonna like make you guys sit through me typing out all of these messages. We'll, I'll show you guys some of the highlights when I like change up the message logs a little bit, but because I am sending out messages to like 20 to 30 people, something like that, um, it can get a little repetitive here, so when I switch up maybe the, the questions I'm asking or when we get back some replies and stuff, I'll, uh, I'll put those in the video here. All right, I just finished up typing another message here to CubixRube1595. Uh, they're going to get a pretty cheap mind dilation here, uh, but we did receive a message back. I'm hoping it's from Yedef, so we're going to go ahead and check it here. <laughs> Beautiful. I love this so much. This is such a fun video to film. All right, we're just gonna go with a simple response here. We're just gonna go with, yeah, it should bring the sell price to just a few pennies. Seems like a seems like a decent response. And it looks like we got another message here too that I'll be able to check here in just a second as well. Oh no, this is so disappointing. Oh man. Uh, so Cubix Rube 1595 is not willing to negotiate. Paper magic during the pandemic has been rough. Um, I I fully agree, man. I fully agree, and that's why we're trying to give you some some cards for super cheap. How how do I even respond to this? I think I only had two cards on that. Let me. I'm gonna recheck to see if I have any additional cards on their once list uh, before I before I keep going. Uh, oh, they entered vacation mode. No. All right. Please check back, Cubix Rube. Please. Now I now I feel bad if if this starting message means that they're not going to end up receiving the card. I'm going to feel really bad. So hopefully they'll respond back. All right, there we go. Yeah, Def finally gets it. He says, uh, sure. I appreciate the good deal. I'll adjust now. Uh, but we'll go on to their profile now. They should have, oh, they put them at 10%. 10 too high. Stop that. I didn't say 10%. I said 1%. Hold on. We got to, got to send them a message to get them to change it real quick. All right. So we're like, 45 minutes in now and i was 
uh, I, I've been sending out the messages and everything. I'll, I'll update you guys on how that's going here in a little bit. But I just realized that Cardsphere doesn't let you set offers to 1%. So I'm going to have to make people pay slightly more pennies than I wanted them to pay. The offer, the lowest offer you can set is 10% instead of 1%. So people are only going to get 90% off instead of 99% off. It's unfortunate, but hopefully they're still okay with it. Uh, yeah, Def, just, just let me know about that. He said, how do I, I, I told him, uh, so I told him I was going to send out the land or else. And then I said, you said it to 10%. That's nine more than I'm willing to send for 1% or no deal. And he just let me know that he can't set it lower. The site won't let him, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to have to tell him that 10% is okay. And then I'll send him off the, the land or else for 10%. Also fun fact, uh, I guess the EDF realized that something was happening here because, uh, he just followed me on Twitter during the, during the time that I uh, started making this video. So, uh, shout out to EDF for following me on Twitter be sure to follow me on twitter uh everyone else here it's albi underscore mtg um but yeah shout out to yedef for following me on twitter and enjoy your uh your land or else here um i'll go ahead and let him know that i can't do that anymore and then i'll have to i'll have to change my message from here on out to let people know that i'm that i want to set the offers to 10 percent instead all right so i just let yedef know i said uh well i just realized this that only lets people set it to 10 percent. i apologize for the inconvenience you'll have to pay a little more than you should have but i'll send them a 10 percent instead of one percent enjoy the problem was i started seeing that like some people had seen the messages but like weren't replying so like foil a zombie here you, the little check mark so shows that they've like seen the message but for obvious reasons they probably didn't think that it was real so i'm gonna have to like re-message them and let them know that it's like real and that they're actually just gonna get these cards for like incredibly cheap all right so i saw that this person saw it and so i had to send them another message to to make sure that they that, that they got it uh so i said i'd like to send it for about 10 percent if you'd be okay with changing your offer to 10 percent instead of the current percentage and they just responded with do you mean 10 percent more than now or just 10 percent total all right so there you go papa steve Enjoy your, uh, I think it's Kenrith, right? Yeah, Kenrith for 10% for of the price. Seems uh, seems pretty good. All right, so I went to go send Yedef his, uh, his land or else and just confirm the trade and everything. And somehow he got it to 0% instead of 10%. I don't know how he managed to do that. So I'm going to have to ask him how so that I can show other people because I also tried to do it and only could get 10% as the lowest price. So I'm going to have to check in with him on how he managed to do that. But for a grand total of uh, 4 cents... Uh, yeah, Def is going to be receiving two Land of Elf Full Art promos. There we go. Papa Steve got it. There we go. He's changing it now. About to receive this, uh, this foil by a Vox Kenrith. Like, this is, this is a cool video because I'm enjoying it and the people that I'm, like, working with are enjoying it as well. So, like, it's, it, it's... <sighs> It's a sweet video. Hopefully, it's like a fun one to watch too. It's just gonna be like hopefully pretty wholesome throughout the entire course of it, and uh, yeah, I I I think this is a fun one. Big shout out to Card Sphere again for being a fantastic sponsor of the channel. They don't even know that I'm doing this, um, but I'm sure once once the video comes out, they'll uh they'll they'll be pretty happy that it that it happened. A little bit more than what I was hoping for for them to have to pay, but I guess forty three cents will have to do. Enjoy your new Kenrith friend. All right, so this is a fantastic message. Papa Steve responded with, is this just a gift or are you trying to lower the market price of it? No problem with either, just curious, which I I love it. The the fact that like, I've, I've given away a 45 cent buy a box foil <laughs> and like there's still just that, that feeling in your mind where it's like so something is up with this. There is some some ulterior motive or something that that's happening here so letting them know it's just a gift for spreading some joy across the cards for your community and trying to brighten up the day of some of my fellow magic players all right we got a response back here from bellringer87 uh they are getting the gp promo for genitus and the promo raymond app excavator uh, the response being that they'll potentially change on the Progenitus, but not really desperate to uh, to upgrade the Raman app. So what price do we want on the Progenitus? Are we looking at closer to 95%? And uh, that's that's a little bit more than than what I want them to pay. So we're going to see if they'll they'll accept like 10% instead of instead of 95 percent all right real quick shout out to the person we're about to to send a message to shadow wesley 77 first off user id of 100 is super cool um having that low of a user id is just like awesome 
Um, but their their big card is Banala Shiro. That's the card that they really want. Um, unfortunately, they have 4th edition, 5th edition, revised, and unlimited listed for their Banala Shiro. I don't have any revised, unlimited, 5th edition, or 4th edition uh, Banala Shiros. I only have beta ones. So I'm going to see if they're willing to accept the beta ones. They're a little bit older, but they're black border instead of white border. So we'll see if we'll, we'll see if Wesley still wants them. Oh, Bell Ringer 87. 10% above your current ask. Of course not. Man, people are so nice, dude. So yeah, Def, uh, I, I asked him how he got it to 0%. He says he doesn't know, but he said, hey, thank you so much for the generous gift. Anything you're looking for, I a lot of haves myself. Nothing I'm looking for. Just looking to bring a smile to some people's faces here, Def. I appreciate it. And uh, I, we also had another kind message here, too, that I, that I saw here from Papa Steve as well. Thank you so much. People like you restore my faith in humanity. If there are any cards you find yourself in need of, let me know. I'm, I'm just... A, 20 year old kid sitting in a gaming chair man like i'm i i do nothing for humanity i don't do a dang thing i'm just out here trying to trying to bring a little trying to bring a little smile to some people who might need a smile so uh enjoy your enjoy your card steve enjoy your card all right so bell ringer still my, my man just still isn't getting it he goes with what do you mean 10 percent total and uh so i'm i'm gonna explain it so like 10 percent of 100 is is 10 uh, ten percent of twenty is two, and ten percent of three hundred and eleven thousand ninety-two is thirty-one thousand one hundred nine point two. All right, so Top Hat Tokens here sent us the longest message of of the video so far, uh, with the response we were asking about a pre-release Cinder Vines as well as a foil Davriel, and they responded with, "Hey there, I have no problem upping the percentage. That's cute. They think we're gonna make them up the percentage." Anything on my want list below 60% is more of a placeholder, so I remember I might want the card in the future, but don't have a use for it right away. I can bump them both up to 65% for you if that sounds more agreeable. That actually sounds significantly less agreeable, Top Hat Tokens. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that beats the current best offer for foil copies, pre-release, or pack foil on the site, which currently are topped by 58% for Cinder Vines and 60% for Davriel. Let me know, and thanks for reaching out. Well, 58 and 60 is too high, so uh, I'm going to have to offer, I don't know, like 10%. That sounds about right. All right, so my response, again, I'm going to use the same joke to, to them that I just made here in the video, but, you know, it was reasonable here because they asked about 65% more agreeable. I told them bumping them up to 65% is actually less agreeable for me. How about 10% for both of them? My guy, Bell Ringer. So you want me to lower my offer, or do you want me at 90% of the current price? Drive a hard bargain, Bell Ringer. Okay, so I've sent out most of the messages to people that had cards that I'm able to send out to them and stuff. I'm going to have to adjust a couple uh, of things because I made these lists uh, last night and a little bit the night before. So some of the cards that I actually had pulled aside to send to people have already been traded to those people, which is great because, of course, it means people are getting the cards they want from Cardsphere. But I wish I could have given them to them a, a little bit sooner so they wouldn't have had to, you know, pay as much. But... Um, there were a few people when I made my initial tweet uh, just asking people to send me their once list so that they could be involved in, in this project. Um, there were some people who sent me their lists and I just didn't have any cards on their once list to be able to send them. Um, so instead of sending them cards, I'm going to buy them one month of Cardsphere Premium. Uh, Cardsphere Premium costs $6, so it's still within like that, that general price range that I was going for for um, most of the most of the packages here again it's just something small that they'll enjoy uh, but I think what I'm gonna do for the messages for these ones is I'm going to tell them to pick a number between 1 and 10 and whatever number they guess is gonna be the correct number um, and when they actually should we go one we should go one out of 100 we'll make the chances even lower so that they think that they uh, so that they, they think they did something special all right I'm gonna ask them to pick a number one out of 100, whatever number they end up picking is going to be the correct number, and their prize for picking the correct number is going to be one month of Cardsphere Premium. Yes, Bellringer87, I'm so confused right now, but I'm at 10% total. Fantastic. It's exactly what we need you at, Bellringer. Good stuff. All right, there we go. Cubics for Cubics for we got it. Uh, that one makes me happy because he 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 or she I, I have no idea they initially responded with that paper magic has been like difficult during the pandemic which is something i can like totally agree with so i'm glad that they 
responded back and that we were able to to get them the card that they wanted so um again realizing that we can't go lower than 10 percent. i initially said the one percent i think to them yeah because this is when i initially started the video they were one of the first i think they were like the second person or something like that um so yeah i initially said like one percent it's gonna have to be 10 percent. but again cubic screw enjoy your uh what was it mines dilation i believe yeah mines dilation <sighs> wesley 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 Put them in for 20%. It's way too much. 10%. 10% or no deal. I'm a hard negotiator. <laughs> I love it. Sorry, I'm a bit confused. A 10% bump on each of them would put my offers at 65% for Davriel and 63% for Cindervine. So you'd get slightly less value. The word bump is where we're having the issue. Top hat tokens. All right, there we go. Wesley's got it now. Two of Vanalish Marshals moderately played here at 10%. I'm sorry I had to use my, my tough negotiation tactics here. Again, I said 20% is way too much. 10% or no deal. I'm a hard negotiator, but I'm just I'm just such a good businessman. Like, man, such a good businessman. All right, so Bellringer brought up a, a, a very, very good point here. I was talking to them a little bit. Uh, they, they just subscribed to the channel as well. So Bell Ringer, if you're watching this video, thank you. Uh, I, I very, very much appreciate it. But they brought up the point that uh, they simply just read my profile and then they and then it started making a little more sense to them. When you go to my profile here, you see the little message that says like, hey, my name is Mark, but people call me Alvi. I'm a Magic the Gathering content creator and I'm sponsored by the wonderful people here at Cardsphere. So once you, once you like read that, you're like, oh, I get it. I understand what's happening, so. Uh, that's something I'll have to keep in mind. So we're gonna have to. We, we might have to make a new card sphere account for the uh, for the next time that I do this. Well, I'll go ahead and lower them presently, and this will almost certainly go down as the most bizarre trade I've ever done on card sphere. It's what I'm here for. <laughs> and we're back. All right. Um, so I we're about four hours later now. I went, you know, ate dinner and stuff, and we're back here. Um, I had to answer a few of the messages off camera and things, and a lot of cool stuff happened while we were gone. Um, so I think the first thing I want to start with is the uh, <laughs> is the Card Sphere Discord because this uh, this led to a, a pretty interesting uh, a, a, just just a pretty interesting little interaction. Uh, so I'll bring that up now. All right, so here we are. We are in the Card Sphere Discord server, which I think there's a link to uh, get into the Card Sphere Discord server on. Um, Cardsphere's website themselves. I think it's located at the bottom of the page. I'm not 100% sure though, but I'm pretty sure that's where it is. If that's not where it is, I'll just just let me know if you guys want in and I'll, I'll find a way to get you guys in. Um, but we are in the trade section of the Cardsphere Discord server and yeah, Def was apparently asking people <laughs> about me in the uh, Cardsphere Discord server because he didn't believe that it was real. So this was taking place while I was doing the initial messages with yeah Def, so i didn't get to see these until afterwards but it was uh it was pretty entertaining to read uh, afterwards so uh he starts off with a message with here's something weird just now a user asked to negotiate a percentage i say sure i can bump it up a little bit then they say how about you lower it to one percent are they just trying to be nice and give me a really good deal i don't understand this motivation the motivation is i'm done with college and I'm happy about it and want to give you free cards. <laughs> uh, so then Bodhi replies with, "It's uh, oh, so that was uh, something uh, about another question, but then replies with, that's a first. Uh, and then Yedef says, ha, I can't even select 1%, only goes to 10%, which again, we, we figured out um, that we can only do 10% instead of 1%. And then he said, I asked the user to clarify that they want to send me cards at a lower price. And they said, yes, question mark. Ha ha, this is really weird. Um, and then it goes on a little bit more and <laughs> then Yedef reaches out to one of the staff members and says, this person claims they are sponsored by Cardsphere itself. This is weird. So I didn't, uh, come out and say like, Hey, I'm sponsored by Cardsphere, except my, my cheap cards. I guess they clicked on my profile. And when you click on my profile for Cardsphere, then you can see the little message that says like I'm sponsored and everything. So I'm assuming that's how they found it. Uh, and then someone was on Twitter. So, oh my God, here on uh, on the Cards for Your Discord server replied with, is it Albi or someone like that? I love the fact that it just like, of all the people Cards for Your Sponsors, 
the people that they expect to do stupid things on Card Sphere itself would be me, <laughs> which is both flattering and insulting at the same time, but I'm perfectly okay with it. <laughs> uh, and then Rogue Menace says, what's their name? They might be, uh, which in fact I am. Uh, however, they didn't really know that I was doing this, so, you know, there's that. Um, and then we go to, uh, where's the next person to say something? Oh, and so then, uh, Rogue Menace, he, uh, Yedef replied to Rogue Menace and, oh my god, by saying, I would not think it appropriate to share usernames in a public channel. Perhaps the user does not want to be named. I mean, someone already guessed who it was, so, like, it probably doesn't matter that you said my name, but, uh, in, in all honesty, like, just reaching out, like, privately to the, to the staff instead of saying my username in the like public discord server is kind of a cool move that's like very responsible on yetf's part and i i really appreciate that uh and then rogue menace says it was more that if they're being sponsored by card sphere they're probably fairly well known and then in parentheses or in this server i am in fact in the server <laughs> to which uh ron diggity Drunken Prophet 149 replies to, is card fishing a thing? Like cat fishing? Uh, so that was a first. I have officially been accused of card fishing, uh, which is a, a first for me. Um, and then Yedef says, I've spoken with a member of the Tunnel Snakes, which is a, a, a I'm assuming just Bodhi in this case, since Bodhi was already in, <laughs> already in the chat. Um, and then he says, my suspicion is that someone is being a generous soul, question mark. Absolutely not. I am far from generous, but I appreciate your kind words. Uh, Rogue Menace responding that staff rules. Efren says, if it's who I think it is, I know he's running some kind of experiment. So Efren kind of knows that it's me then. Uh, because, again, my initial tweet on Twitter uh, said, for any of my followers, or just anyone who sees this tweet, if you have an account with that real card sphere, tweet me a link to your profile so that I can check your once list. It's for an important project I'm working on. Thank you. So I didn't really say it was an experiment. I said it was a project, but Efren still got that it was me. And, again, this project slash experiment is just take my magic cards, please. Um, so, so, uh, Bodhi responds with, uh, a quote from me being, you'll buy my cards for less, dang it. Uh, and then Yedef says, result of experiment, people like free things. That sounds, uh, pretty accurate, despite there being two people that I'll show you later on that just don't want my free stuff. Uh, which, I mean, sure, if, if, if they don't want my free stuff, that's on them. Uh, so then Rogue Menace says, oh, is that the one that was on Twitter, Efren? Efren saying, maybe he's trying to see who will take a valuable card for nothing and who will insist on paying a fair price. I don't know. I know Albie was talking about a CS experiment on Twitter, so it's my best guess. I don't know what the experiment is. Again, Efren wasn't really an experiment. It was just, I, I, I labeled this project, but again, it's just me giving stuff away <laughs> um but yeah so uh they they basically got who it was then after i was called out in the uh the discord server for card fishing um and then i think that's basically everything from this oh yeah uh Yedef says i'm eager with anticipation for the experiment to conclude and find out what's going on rogue menace responds with incoming 30 page research paper on cs Here's the thing, Rogue Menace. The reason we're doing this is because I don't have to write any more research papers. So no 30-page research paper on CS incoming. That is 100% sure. Uh, and then another user, Donald, <laughs> tweet, uh, mentioned at Yedef in the thing and said, can you send them a link to my profile? And then includes the link to their profile. Um, so, like, I mean, sure. Like, why not yeah they, they donald wants some free stuff we'll hook donald up with some free stuff i already checked out their profile so uh we're back here on their uh on their page now and i do have a talisman of creativity in foil that i can send them so i'm just going to send them a message real quick just saying hey saw the discord uh chat heard your rates are negotiable question mark and we'll uh, we'll see where that goes okay so now while that message is out i will catch you guys up on all of the previous messages that happened while I was gone. So I think the last person we ended with would have been Top Hat Tokens, I think, earlier. Okay, so Nick Bacone was one of the people who got uh, Cardsphere Premium. So I told them to pick a number. They went with 91. 
they got the answer correct. 91 was the magic number, and so we hooked them up with one month of uh, free Card Sphere Premium. So congratulations to Nick on that, which I didn't know ahead of time, but actually looking back on the front page, Nick is one of the top senders on Card Sphere for the month. I forget whether it was by quantity or by uh, value, but he was one of the top senders, so it's cool that I'm able to help out uh, someone who uses the website a lot uh, in that way. Uh, and then we have Crisp Pure Vita here who says, who I said, hey, I have a foil Altar of Dementia, foil Streak Ma, foil Primal Druid. Are your percentages static or are they willing to change? Let me know, thanks. And they immediately responded with, I upped Altar and Shriek Ma to 90%, hope to get the ship. So that was where I realized that I just had to respond right away. I couldn't like chill and just eat my dinner for a little bit. I had to respond to this one right away because 90% is like a very reasonable rate. So if I didn't respond fast enough, someone else was just going to go ahead and send them the prices at 90%. Um, so I just straight up said, you should lower those. 90 is too high for me. Make it 10% and I'll send them to you. Uh, he goes ahead and lowers them to 10%. I sent him the cards at 10%. Nice, simple interaction and was able to save him uh, 80% then on his uh, on his cards. So uh, enjoy those. Crisp Pura Vita. Um, after Crisp Pura Vita, we got Philip K, who's another person who received the 30 days of uh, premium uh, for Card Sphere. And I told him to pick a number between 1 and 100. He went with 13 because it's his lucky number. And of course, that was the winning number. Well done, Philip. You got number 13 correct, and therefore were rewarded with one month of Card Sphere Premium. After Philip, we have Beaver God, another person who I believe the final person who is receiving uh, one month of Card Sphere Premium as their prize. Uh, and I told him to pick a number between 1 and 100, going with the very interesting number of 47 here for Beaver God. I said, Great choice, you win. He said, wait, what? What happened? And then, you know, the, the message shows up. User MTG has gifted you 30 days of premium subscription. And he's like, oh, my goodness, thank you so much. Uh, and so I told him, you know, it's just it, it was all on him. He guessed the right number. So he said, Haha, is it, uh, it's one of my favorite numbers. Is this part of your project? Because he was one of the people who sent me their um, uh, their once list via Twitter. So, uh, yeah, it's part of the project. Congrats on your congrats on your free card sphere premium for the month. Beaver God. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Ben Johns, who, who was a. This is a pretty fun interaction as well. Uh, so I had to message them three times because they saw the, they saw the initial message, didn't do anything with it. Saw the second message, didn't do anything with it, and then saw the third message, and then was finally willing to like converse with me. Uh, so I did the initial thing. Where I was like, "Hey, you got Pathbreaker IVX on your thing. Is it negotiable?" Um, I sent another message then. I was like, I'm willing to negotiate. Was thinking of starting at 10% of the cost for the Pathbreaker Ibex. Let me know if you think that's too high, too low, or if you're willing to accept. Thanks. Saw that, didn't reply. So then I was like, look, your balance is only $1.44, so I can't send you the Ibex at your current percentage. Making it 10% would allow me to send it to you. Thanks. Uh, and so then they said, that's so generous of you, but I'm willing to go 70%. I can add some funds to cover it. And uh, this is where the introduction of my new accounting department comes into play, the LBMTG accounting department. Uh, it is made up of Squee, Goblin, Nabob, um, this, uh, this stuffed bear that's chilling out over here uh, next to me, and uh, also uh, Kevin Malone from The Office. Uh, those, that's my, uh, my new accounting department. And so you'll see me uh, consulting with the accounting department here a little bit. And so I said, did some calculations, check with the accounting department. I can't send it at 70%. It's going to have to be at 10%. Uh, they responded with, lol, haha, all right then, 10% it is. And I said, perfect. Sorry, I had to break out my tough negotiation tactics. And they responded simply enough with, you drive a hard bargain, which is true. I do. Uh, it's just the, uh, the hard work of the accounting department here um, with Kevin Malone, Squee Goblin, Nabob, and the stuffed bear that's chilling over there. So... Um, they're, a, they're a hard working department and uh, they, uh, they're, they're great people. Uh, Grandpa's Garage here is one of the people who just like does not want <laughs> does not want free cards. I sent them four messages and they they just like looked at them and w were not about it. So I don't want to be like annoying to, to people. like I'm trying to give you free cards like and just take 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 my cardboard, but 
uh, I don't I also don't want to be annoying at the same time uh, same thing with uh, mystic bunny here I say quick question saw that you have Kaldoran outposts on your once list was wondering if you'd be willing to negotiate the percentage let me know uh, they responded with no sorry nothing on my once list is really a priority for me right now so not worth increasing to which I responded with three question marks and said who said anything about increasing lower your offer on the Kaldoran outpost to 10% and it's yours to which they haven't seen that message yet so uh, we'll await their reply as well um, this one is uh, a beautiful interaction here between myself and Screwjob uh, so Screwjob is getting uh, some foils here, foil fecundity, foil squee, I just gave away one of my accounting department members apparently, uh, and a foil eternal scourge, and uh, they responded with, I'd be willing to increase that to 85% max, I said, sorry friend, no deal, too expensive, your offer percentages on those three go down to 10%, and we'll call it a deal. Screwjob says, okay, thank you for checking though. And I, I responded with, because I just wanted to make it like pretty clear, I was like, so... Just making sure we're on the same page here. You don't want the cards on your wants list at 70% less than what you're willing to pay for them. So just straight up, just get, getting right to the point. Uh, they responded with, I was saying that I'm willing to pay 85% of the price as opposed to 80%. My response saying, right. And I'm saying, I want you to pay 10% of the price as opposed to 80%. <laughs> in which they respond sorry i'm just confused i guess uh, it seems you want less money for the cards that is exactly what it does seem like uh and then they said that this seems counterintuitive again had to check in with the accounting department uh so i said nope just check with the accounting department and they said it's not counterintuitive uh screwjob responds with lol i would prefer to pay no less than 50 percent." so shout out to screwjob for willing to take the deal but even willing to like meet me in the middle like part way like get a good deal for themselves but also like not you know just make it for pennies or whatever uh but of course i wasn't gonna let that happen so i sent two messages i was like all right let me go check with the accounting department again <sighs> accounting department says that's no good they really want to hit this 10 percent number uh, and then screwjob says you are killing me here lol fine uh, and then asks, uh, and so then finally sets the uh, the price down. And then they said, "Can I can I ask you why you insist on such a low price?" And I was like, "Look, the accounting department and I are just both pleased with your cooperation. Enjoy your new foils." So uh, that was a, a beautiful interaction there between Screwjob. Enjoy your new foils, friend. And uh, after that, we got Forkbeard. Forkbeard is getting oh a Hellkite Tyrant. That's a sweet one too from, uh, I believe, one of the mythics from Gatecrash. Uh, so I responded with the initial message that I've been, you know, using. They said, let me know what you're thinking. I said, just straight up 10%. I'm thinking, you change it to 10%, and I send you a Hellkite Tyrant. He said, I can do that. And I said, great, let me know when it's changed. He said, it's done already. So I went to check uh, Forkbeard's page and saw that his Hellkite Tyrant was listed at 80%. Um, so I was like, it's still showing up listed at 80% on your once list to me. And he says, well, it was 70 and now it's 80. That's not what I meant by 10%, my friend. I was like, <laughs> look, uh, I, I see, I see the misunderstanding that 70%. It's too much. I was thinking closer to 10%. Uh, he goes, are you sure? I was like, yep, positive. So then he changes it to 10% and now he gets a, uh, Hellkite Tyrant from Gatecrash. Uh, so that was another sweet interaction there with uh, with um, uh, Forkbeard. Uh, and then we have a couple of people who just didn't get back to me yet. Foil Azami and Fatape Zero uh, need to, they, they like didn't see the, the messages yet. Um, so they might not end up being in this video, but will still receive their uh, their cards if they want them. Um, there's a few people that just like haven't seen the mess like the initial messages as well. Uh, GFC one two six, Kurt M and Chalk still need to uh, see their messages. And uh, yeah, this seems like it was a pretty successful video. I had fun filming it. Hopefully, it's I I'm not gonna have fun editing that. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now because I've been filming already for like uh, I probably have three hours worth of footage or something like that to go through, but it's gonna be a pain to edit but it should be fun um i also have to send out all these cards and everything but that's that's really not too big of a deal that's fairly easy stuff to to get done the editing is going to take a while but um it, it it should be worth it i had i had fun with this video 
And uh, I'm going to start up the editing process now. So I do apologize to the people who I was uh, sending messages to that um, unfortunately didn't get to be part of the video. Um, but if they obviously see these, like see the video for something or just send me messages after um, I've already like stopped the recording and stuff, then I'll just send them their cards. But you just won't get to see it here on camera, unfortunately. But yeah, this was a ton of fun. Um, if Wendy responds here while I'm doing the outro, then we can get uh, one last reaction in here um, before before we call it quits on the video. But I had I had a ton of fun doing this. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Uh, a couple of things that we've learned: one, uh, some people just don't like free cards. I, I I don't know. Maybe they just don't like me. I don't know. That could be it. I'm I'm not here to judge. I'm I'm not here to judge. Uh, we learned that people are very skeptical very skeptical um it took the majority of these uh it, it took at least like two to three messages minimum to get them to actually change from their current once list value to the 10 percent that we wanted to get them to um three uh we learned that an accounting department made up of uh stuffed bear squee goblin to bob and kevin malone is not a very successful accounting department might have to fire them and then for the next time we do this i'll end up with a new accounting department i don't know kevin malone might be able to save his job but i think stuffed bear and squee might be out for next time um four i learned that this is incredibly fun to do <laughs> uh this was a ton of fun getting to see these reactions and uh it, you don't get like the full like initial reaction from them because you like you know there is that delay because they have to like see the message and like read it and then type back a response so you don't get like the initial like boom here's the reaction that you would if it was like a face-to-face -face contact kind of thing but it was still a ton of fun to to see these reactions uh fifth thing we learned today is that i need to make a second card sphere account because people are on to me uh yeah def that's right <laughs> calling you out calling me out in the uh the discord server for just trying to send people cardboard man just trying to send people cardboard <laughs> but uh i guess yedef wasn't the only one we also had uh what was his name it was bellringer87 also like just looked at my profile and realized that this wasn't a scam and that i was just somebody who is sponsored by cardsphere that wanted to give away some cards um sixth thing we learned is that you should like this video because that's what a good youtuber would ask you to do they would ask you to like the video, to subscribe, and to check out the comments section where you can see how you can get entered to uh, potentially win some giveaway things of your own. I'm not sure what I'm going to give away yet, um, which is kind of why I'm saying check the comments section because I'm not 100% sure yet. I might just do like the leftover cards that I had pulled aside. Like I had like all of these pulled aside. You guys saw them towards the beginning of the video um, that like didn't get sold. Like there's a uh pendlehaven judge promo and like an adorn pouncer and stuff like that so I, I probably won't be able to do something for like every single person in my comment section but uh hopefully i can pick out just like a couple of people and you know we'll do the same thing there where if we can just like send them a, a few dollars worth of cards for the price of nothing to just like make their day bring a smile to their face then that's uh that's all that matters so i'm going to refresh one more time to check if wendy responded back wendy did not respond back so this is the end of the video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did like i said a like would be appreciated subscribe to the channel if you guys are new um i'm sure i'll do this again in the future because i really enjoyed it and uh yeah thank you all so much for watching uh check out card sphere if you have not already since they do uh sponsor everything that i do here on the channel and yeah that's it thank you guys